Hello, in this video I'm going to work through three different questions, each using implicit differentiation. And so I'm going to timestamp each question below so that you can easily skip through to the next question if you don't like the one that I'm doing. Now, if you don't know how to do implicit differentiation, um, I've made a video on that that you can go and check out. I'll put it in the description because I'm going to kind of assume you can already do it for this video. But in short, right, say we had something like this, y squared, and we wanted to find its derivative, then we would say it's just the same as kind of differentiating with x, so it just become 2y, but then we have to multiply it by dy by dx at the end, okay? And that's how we can take the derivative of something in terms of y when we're differentiating with respect to x. Now that's not a very great explanation, I recommend you go watch my video on it first, but that might get you through this video. So, let's have a look at the first example where we need to find the derivative of uh, x cubed plus 3xy equaling y squared plus 42. So the first step is to take the derivative of each individual term. So we're going to take the derivative, so d by dx, of x cubed, plus the derivative, so d by dx, of 3xy, and then that's going to equal the derivative, d by dx, of y squared, and then we're going to add on the derivative, d by dx, of 42. So derivative of x cubed, that's pretty easy, that's just going to be 3x squared. Now when it comes to taking the derivative of this 3xy, okay, we're going to have to use the product rule. And so we're going to say that 3x is one of our terms or very uh, functions, and this y is the other function. And so I'm going to do 3x multiplied by the derivative of y. So that's going to be 3x multiplied by dy by dx. And then I'm going to add on to that the function y multiplied by the derivative of 3x. So that's just going to give me plus 3y. And that equals the derivative of y squared, which is just going to be 2y dy by dx and then plus the derivative of 42, which is zero because 42 is a constant. So from here, we just need to rearrange to make y, uh, dy by dx the subject. And so to do that, I'm gonna subtract this 3x dy by dx from both sides. And so we're gonna get that 3x squared plus 3y is equal to 2y dy by dx. Subtract 3x dy by dx. Now we can factorize out this dy by dx from the right hand side and we get that 3x squared plus 3y is equal to dy by dx multiplied by 2y subtract 3x. And so now this gives me my derivative dy by dx because I can divide both sides by the 2y minus 3x and we get that this is equal to 3x squared plus 3y all divided by 2y subtract 3x and that there would be our derivative. Let's look at this second example where we have a curve with the equation 3x squared y plus xy squared equals 3x plus 1. And again, we need to find its derivative. So derivative of each individual term first. So derivative, so d by dx of 3x squared y plus the derivative, so d by dx of xy squared. And that's going to equal the derivative, so d by dx of 3x plus the derivative of 1, which is just our constant. Derivative of 3x squared y, again, we're going to have to use the product rule. So here would be our two terms, or, or functions rather. So we're going to get 3x squared multiplied by the derivative of y. So that's just going to be 3x squared dy by dx. And then we're going to add on y multiplied by the derivative of 3x squared. So that's going to be 6x multiplied by y. So I could say 6xy. And then we're going to add on to that. Again, we're going to use the products rule because we're using the derivative of x, y squared. So we've got one function x and the other function y squared. And so x multiplied by the derivative of y, that's going to give us 2xy dy by dx. And then we're going to add on to that the function y squared multiplied by the derivative of x. So we're just going to get plus y squared and that equals derivative of 3x, which is 3, plus the derivative of 1, which is 0. So to rearrange this, I'm gonna subtract y squared and 6xy from both sides, and we get that 3x squared dy by dx plus 2xy dy by dx equals three, subtract y squared, subtract 6xy. And now we can factorize out our dy by dx from both of the terms on the left-hand side, and we get dy by dx multiplied by 3x squared plus 2xy equals three, subtract y squared, subtract six xy. And then we can divide both sides by our three x squared plus two xy. And we get our derivative dy by dx is equal to three, subtract y squared, subtract six xy, all divided by three x squared plus two xy. Okay, so this last example, we need to use implicit differentiation to show that if y equals arc sine or inverse sine of x, 
then the derivative dy by dx is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So to do this, we're going to have to rewrite the original equation. And so if y is equal to inverse sine of x, then we have that sine of y is going to be equal to x. And so now we could take the derivative of both sides using implicit differentiation. And if we do that, we get that, well, the derivative of sine y with respect to x using the chain rule, that's going to give me that it's equal to cos of y multiplied by dy by dx. And the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. So now I can divide both sides by cosine y, and we get that the derivative dy by dx is equal to 1 over cosine y. And here's where we have to use like a bit of a trick. So we're going to use inverses. So we're going to say that, well, if I square the denominator and then I take the square root of it, it's still the exact same. And so we're going to do that. We're going to say that 1 over the square root of cosine squared y, that's still equal to cosine y. So I can do that. And the reason I've done that is because now we can use our trig identity, which says that cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x is going to be equal to 1. And so now I find that cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. And so let's write that in. We get that 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. Obviously, I wrote the identity in terms of x, but we're working in terms of y, but it still works. So we've got 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine squared y. Uh, is equal to our derivative. And if we look here, we have that sine squared y is actually equal to x. So let's substitute that in. And we get that our derivative is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's what we needed to show. So hopefully this video was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel and check out all of my other tutorials. Thanks for watching.